Hello and welcome back to another presentation from uh, trainingright.com. Um, today I'll be talking about uh, databases. Uh, what is a database? Uh, why as a, a, a tester I should be knowing about a database? What are queries? How do you write queries? Uh, how do you begin with databases? Uh, me as a as a uh, as a tester. Okay, there are many databases out there in the industry. Um, to talk about what a database is, um, I'm going to show you briefly about um, uh, what a database. So here is, let's say, your database. In a, in a database, basically what you do is you store you store information. Now, the information which you store in a database uh, could be anything. Just to give you an example, um, if you are a business, then you want to store information about your customers. If you are, um, customers would be buying products, so you should have a list of products which you would be um, having in your database. Um, now, when these customers, when they buy these products, when they search for the uh, for the products, and when they buy, basically those are the orders. So you will have orders of the customers, and then uh, you would have something like, uh, where do you want to ship uh, those orders? So some shipping uh, details, and uh, this is this is basically any any database would have these kind of information um so your application whatever your application is if it is a web application or if it is a windows application um those applications would be uh talking uh with this database so depending on what language we have used um that language the programmers in that language would be writing the code to connect to this um to give you an example Let's say if uh, we have been using, let's say, um, .NET. In .NET, um, you have something called ADO.NET. ADO.NET is nothing but it's it's a it's a it's a library. Now, uh, what do you understand about a library? If you go to a library, basically, library is nothing but it's a it's a collection, right? It's a collection of books if it's a books library. Uh, in case of ADO.NET, since it's a library, so it is also a collection, but collection of what? Collection of uh, classes. So there are a bunch of classes in there. Um, without going into the details of that, just to mention that there, there is something called a, a connection object, there is something called a command object, and then there is something called uh, data set object. So there are a bunch of objects. So, so programmers using these these classes, right? Uh, they instantiate the objects and then basically they they connect to the database. And after they connect to the database, they would do what? They would uh, uh, execute uh, a query, right? So uh, we as 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 software test engineers, we also should have uh, a little idea of uh, what a database is. Um, how does it store information about about whatever, whether it's a customers or products or orders or shipping details or order details or invoices, um, anything, right? How does it store information? So uh, it stores information in the form of what is called tables. So we need to know uh, what these tables are, how do they look like, and when you store information inside the table, when you store information, um, how do you how do you retrieve that information, right? So you want to find out how you store, how you retrieve. So for that, we have to make use of uh, what is called SQL, right? Which is uh, um, the structured query language. It 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 queries, right? It questions or it it asks uh, the database or the tables in there and then gets the information back. So um, there are there are different 
types of queries. There is something called uh, a select query. There is something called an insert query. There is something called an update query. And then there is something called a delete query. Um, now, you again, as a tester, you need to know as how uh, we should be using these queries and all that. Okay, now, uh, in terms of uh, databases, if you know one database, then you know practically all of the databases. But uh, the most um, popular databases out in the industry uh, are something called Oracle Database. There is a SQL Server Database. Um, there is Access Database, um, Sybase, Informix, DB2, um, Progress. I mean, there, there are many databases. Now, mostly these databases are called relational database management system, right? So now when we talk about relational, um, now th that means that uh, there is a table here, right? There's another table here. Now this table, let's say, is about uh, customers. Um, custom and this is about products. Um, customers will go and buy a product, right? Customer will buy a product. And then that product, uh, basically, we put an order, right? Um, there's a table, they put an order, right? So the customers, when they buy a product, they will place an order. So there is, as you see, there is there is relationship going on between this and this. So when we write those uh, queries, uh, in those queries there will be there will be something called join, right? So we'll be talking about the join queries and all that. So what I am going to do right now is I'm quickly uh, going to talk about uh, uh, this database, show you. Um, you know how you could uh, you could download this database, uh, install it on your machine, and play with it, right? Okay. When I talk about play with it, meaning that uh, you know create some tables, uh, write some queries, you know do some practicing. All right. Okay. So in order to do that, we have to. Uh, first of all, download uh, that, and you could download that by going to Microsoft. If you search on Google and if you go to Microsoft, uh, Microsoft allows you to download these databases. These are like free databases. So there is a database called uh, uh, Microsoft uh, SQL Server 2008 Express Edition. Even though there are there are many editions, there is Enterprise Edition, um, but Express Edition is like the free. Uh, the other ones, as you can see here, you would be paying, uh, you know, some money to to get that. So we don't want to we don't want to spend that money because we are not into commercial business. We are just uh, using it for practicing purpose. So you would download this database, and in after you download the database, basically you are going to install the database, and it's, it's as simple as clicking on the buttons, and then basically. Uh, what happens is you will install that database. When you install a database, uh, you get what is called a um, uh, management studio that will help you log into the database. So uh, here is what I'm talking about. This is SQL Server Management Studio. So the box is going to pop up. Uh, uh, by the way, when we get into our course, uh, I'll be talking about all the details. I'll be showing you the installation itself. Uh, I'll show you as how to set it up on your machine and then um, how to bring it up. Uh, so this is a brief demo just to give you an idea of how things work. So here uh, is your interface you're trying to connect to SQL Server. Now these are different instances. Uh, I have different instances sitting on my machine. Uh, this is the enterprise version I have. And so this is the free version, so I'm going to take you in there. When you log in, there are two different types of login. There is something called Windows authentication, and then there is SQL Server authentication. Uh, right now, I'm going to go into, C uh, into Windows authentication, and I hit Connect. Um, what it does is it basically connects to my database. 
So this is the SQL Express instance, um, which is sitting on my server. And uh, if you expand, these are the databases which I have uh, right now on my machine. Um, there's something called Adventure Works, Adventure Works DW, kind of like a data warehouse, right? Adventure Works Light um, LT is like a light uh, version of it. So these did now. Where did I get these databases from? Are these like my company's databases? No, these are uh, what what is called a sample databases. So you could download these sample databases uh, again by going on the internet. Uh, if you go to CodePlex, again, if you do a little search um, on Google, you'll find that, uh, let's say you want to download uh, uh, sample databases uh, for our SQL Server Express Edition. And the sample database is called AdventureWorks. So you would get a link um, to, to, to that on uh, a site called CodePlex. CodePlex is where... Um, you know, most of uh, the new things which are happening in the industry, if there's anything uh, which they need to share with the general public, they try to put it on the CodePlex. Uh, so th from there, you're going to be downloading it. And then this is an executable. So after you download, you could d just double click on that. And that is going to go and then install these sample databases for us. All right. OK, now. Uh, in this sample databases, you could pretty much go and then work in any database for the kind of work we will be doing, which is like looking into the tables and running queries and all that. We could go anywhere. Um, I'm just going to expand this. And when you expand, you have what is called tables. Uh, I'm going to take you into tables. Um, and uh, as you see, there are a bunch of tables in here. There's, uh, there's uh, tables for department uh, employees. And this is for the human resources section. Likewise, uh, let's say for a customer or a person, you have these tables. Um, we could just randomly go and then open any any table and then take a look at uh, what we have in it. Now, in order to open a table, you have to go, uh, let's say if I want to open this uh, contact, uh, you could right click on that and then you could say the two ways of doing it. Uh, this, you could say that, okay, select top 1000 rows, right? I mean, uh, that's how Microsoft uh, has given you the option of looking at, uh, you know, the data. Um, you could also go edit, uh, even though you're not editing, but then it gives you the option of uh, editing if you select this, this particular option. Um, I'm going to go and then select that. The only reason for that is it, it's going to show you the query as well. So here it is. And uh, as you can see here on the top half uh, portion of it, it shows you the query. And as I was talking about in, in my presentation um, earlier, that uh, there are different types of queries. So this is a select query. So it is selecting the top 1,000 records for you. And these are the different columns which we're talking about. So it is showing you uh, first name, last name, email addresses, phone numbers, and, and the rest of all this information, right? So as you can see, there's so many, so many records in here, right? So many records in here, right? Uh, since we look for the first 1,000, and that's what we got. That's what this, this, it gave us the first 1,000. Let's say we want everything, right? So I could pretty much go and do this, uh, replace, replace that with an asterisk. If I do that, if replace that with an asterisk, it's not going to limit to 1,000 if there are 10,000, it's going to give me all those 10,000. So now that I have made this change, how am I going to execute this query? For that, it's the right here, the word is execute, right? But there's, there's a catch, and I'm, I, I want to show it to you. When I execute this query, right, um, it is showing you here all our records, right? And this time, it is definitely more than 1,000. As you can see, uh, 19,972. Right. So that's that many um, that many uh, contacts we have. And there is a lot of information in this in this database. There's information which uh, probably we don't need. So let's say we need first name, last name and uh, email address. What would I do? These are column names. Right. So in the select rather than put in an asterisk, I would say um, Select, uh, what do I want? First name. So I say first name, right? Um, and comma. And 
I need the last name. As you see, as I'm trying to type, it comes up with this drop down trying to help me um, so that I don't really have to type any, you know, all the, uh, if it is a like long column name, I don't have to do that. I just hit a tab and it selects that for me. Likewise for email, once I do E, this email address comes and then I just hit a tab. So we have first name, last name, email address. So that's what I want to run. So I am going to execute that. And lo and behold, what we have is just the name, uh, first name, last name, and email address. So what you have seen here, folks, is uh, how to get into a SQL Server uh, database uh, through a management studio, how to open up a database, and how to write our first uh, uh, few queries, which is like a select statement. Well, uh, if you like what you're seeing here, then we strongly um, recommend you to take a look at uh, trainingright.com. Uh, we have uh, um, different courses uh, for, for different uh, interests. Uh, if you are, let's say, uh, a QA person, um, then we have courses for you, uh, like a QA package, which is uh, um, quality control, uh, QTP, Quick Test Professional, which is an automated uh, testing tool, and we have a uh, Selenium. Uh, so that goes as a package. Uh, if you're a .NET developer, uh, we have uh, uh, things like uh, ASP.NET, um, you know, using ASP.NET, how to build uh, dynamic websites uh, where we talk about WCF, Link, Silverlight, and all that. Uh, if you want to get into SharePoint, we have SharePoint courses. So why don't you take a look and uh, if uh, something um, uh, is of your interest if you want to pursue that um, do give us a call or write to us at sales at uh, trainingright.com well thank you for your time thank you for watching this video and uh, we hope to see you in another video thanks